I'm Eric, and this is a PIO vlog. Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I'm going to get right into some of the recent incidents that South Metro has responded to over the last couple weeks, starting off with a multifamily structure fire that occurred in the city of Centennial on Independence Day. We've had a lot of requests from people who want to see more of the incident command process and more helmet cam video. So in this video, you will see the perspective from District 1's dash cam, the windshield view, and you'll get to see two different perspectives from Tower 34. Tower 34 Alpha, who was the lieutenant on duty that day, and Tower 34 Charlie, who was one of the firefighters that day. Both of those cameras will be labeled at the bottom so you can see who's talking and whose vantage point you're looking through as they get assigned to this incident and do various tasks on scene. As you listen to the 911 calls, hear the radio traffic, and see multiple angles of what's occurring on the fire ground, we hope to give you a better understanding of just how challenging it is for our firefighters and our incident commander and safety officer when they arrive on scene of an incident that is complex, things are happening very quickly, and lots of decisions have to occur within a matter of seconds to ensure that everything goes the way it needs to go. A lot of things are happening at the same time, and through these different viewpoints, you'll get an understanding of that. You'll see Engine 17 on the rear of the building with a hose line, and they are protecting a natural gas meter that had completely melted away, and there was free-flowing gas that was involved in fire on the back of this building. At the same time, there's multiple units in the building that need to be searched, not only for people and pets, but also for fire extension to try and limit the damage as much as possible. All of these things have to be coordinated, and the incident commander has to keep accountability of exactly what's happening all over the fire scene. One of the things that you may hear is labeling of the building and trying to determine exactly which side will be anchored as the alpha side. So at South Metro and most fire departments, when we're looking at the front or the addressed side of the building, we'll call that the alpha side. And then going clockwise around the building, we'll label Bravo, Charlie is usually the rear, and Delta is the right side if we're looking at the front. There's some initial discrepancy between what is being called Alpha and what is being called Charlie, and the incident commander has to button that up so that everyone understands exactly where they're working. At this incident, several people were evaluated by our paramedics on scene and one was transported to the hospital for evaluation. The cause was related to the barbecue, as you heard in the initial 911 call, and it's important to remind everyone to please keep barbecues 10 feet or greater distance away from siding, windows, and doors of their structures, and make sure if it's a gas grill that you're checking those connections and gas lines for leaks before igniting a fire in the grill. Make sure you're not detecting any odors and that everything looks safe before you carry out a grilling operation. In many cases, when we respond to these barbecue grill fires, it's because there's a loose connection on the gas line and that gas leak ends up blowing fire outside of the grill area and causing problems, not only for people's property, but it can cause injuries. South Metro Fire, what is the address of the emergency? Hello, what is the address? What is the, what is the address for the emergency? 8192 South Fillmore Way for the house fire. Radio! Hello, are you there? 8192 South Fillmore Way. My patio is on fire. The house is on fire. Ma'am, I have help on, on the way. Fire. Get out. Get out of the house, ma'am. Get out of the house now. South Metro Fire. What is the address of the emergency? It's gonna be Douglas with the transfer for a house fire. Go ahead. Caller, what is the address uh, of the emergency? 8194 South Fillmore Way here in Centennial. 
And is that the address where the emergency is at? Yes. Yes, their back deck is on fire. Tower 34, engine 17, engine 14, medic 15, district 1, safety 18. On a reported structure fire, map Union 25, Charlie, 8192 South Fillmore Way. Repeating, Tower 34, engine 17, engine 14, medic 15, district 1, safety 18. On a reported residential structure fire, map Union 25, Charlie, 8192 South Fillmore Way. It's going to be on Office 3, dispatch clear 1459. That's to be quick. That house is on fire. This house is next door Every, to me. Everyone's on the way. Is yes, anyone I'm injured? What? Does anybody have any injuries? No. Okay. District 1, dispatch. District 1. Chief, we're getting overloaded with calls on this. You okay to upgrade? Yeah, that's fine. 1500. And Chief, this will be a multi-family. A copy out of multi-family. Let's see, Claire. Fifteen. Medic fifteen. On team, we have a large two-story multi-family structure. We do have a working structure fire. We'll be in the office of strategy investigating. We'll be at Fillmore Command. The medic 15 year on scene of a large two story multi family. You do have a working fire. The offensive of that's getting 15. 17 from District 1. 17. Hey, I'm right behind you. I got you, Chief. We're going to pull a horizontal standpipe. To this Charlie side. Copy medic 15 from District 1. Go ahead, District 1. I'm on scene. Can you give me a can report? Yeah. Copy that. Chief, I'm just walking up. We have a uh, heavy fire on the Delta side of the structure. Uh, I'll give you further here in a minute. Copy 17, full and and three quarter pre connect. Put water on that fire. Command medic 17, done scene. Copy engine 17 from district 1. Did you copy? It's just full and inch three quarter. Dispatch from district 1. District 1. I'll be assuming command. We're going to be in the offensive strategy. I'm going to be located in my vehicle. We're going to call this the Alpha side. District 1, I copy your on scene, assuming command. You're in the offensive strategy located in your vehicle, calling out the Alpha side. Tower 35, smoke investigation outside, map page F30, D, S, Waterwalk Hotel Apartments, 11,450, East Peakview Avenue, Tower 35, smoke investigation outside. 15, to clear the Delta 1 exposure. Okay, copy. You're on the Charlie side. I'm going to be located on the Delta side. Medic 15 is going to be clearing the structures. Command Tower 34, we're on scene. Tower 34, copy, we're on scene. I need you to bump up and assist Medic 15 with primary searches. Copy, what's this medic? Good thing, a primary search, all in. We'll be on the left side, fire over here. 8152, so we are at 517. Tower 34, field stop short. 
backwards a little bit. Can you go back from? We're just going to search. 350 complete. We have a basement. We have extension into the primary residence. You might grab another free connect and make an entry to the alpha side. We're going to stay on that Charlie side exterior for a moment. Okay, copy. Yeah, if you'll stay on that Charlie side, get the remainder of that fire. You do have extension going into here. Hey, I'm going to be on the alpha side, line, Russell. Into the interior. Do they have good access from the Charlie side for that second line to go interior? It's this one right here, right? It's this one right here. Let's get on the lawn. Okay, okay. okay I'll be. Command from Meyer 12. We're in the area. Are you near? Meyer 12, I'm going to need you to bump up if you'll come up to the uh, Charlie side of the structure. Do me ball behind. Engine 17, hey, you're going to be on foot. They still have a. We have good fire. We'll go around the other side. Let's go around the other side. Hotel. At the main entrance. Trash can on fire. Three foot, Captain. 1509. Command post, which is located on the Delta side of Building 5. Hey, they're flown in from the Charlie side. Building 5. Let's start with 8190. Command engine 14, water supply established engine 17. How about that first unit, guys? Yeah, you want one That copy, you've got water yeah, supply established. I'm going to need another yeah, line to pull up horizontal stand pipe on this one. Y off and go interior on the alpha side for interior fire attack. Version, version, version. Command engine 17, version traffic. Go with the urgent traffic. We have a completely missing gas meter on the Charlie side. Free flowing gas. Okay, copy. You've got a missing gas meter, free flowing gas. I want you to have that exposure line on the gas meter. Got a call back for someone on site saying it's not a trash can, it's the uh, cigarette collector. Three plus, go. Seriously, Tony. I'm going to get a water supply to you. Copy, Jake. We'll turn the Bravo team over there. You want to keep Alpha doing search? Yeah, that'll be fine. You can break them up. Get their, uh, just want your truck up in the air. I'll get a water supply to you for 17. Copy that, Chief. We'll get Bravo team on the area. Command post. Bump, 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 Zach. Copy. Hey, get that line, we got fire right in the stairwell. Command right. 3 don't take There's fire in the back of the stairwell. Back of the stairwell, straight through. 34 Bravo. 8194. Yeah. Hey, somebody get the Bravo team to set up the tower. Okay. We're gonna stay here. Okay, hey, what's up? Hey, Zeke! Hey, Zeke! Hey, Zeke! Hey, Zeke! Hey, Zeke! Look, unit 8194 is clear. You guys are setting up the area. Alright, just want that whole building, building 5 clear. Let me yes, know when you know the primary is complete on building 5. Your 10 minute ticker, also, uh, Denver Weather's reporting heavy lightning in the area for the next 45 to 50 feet. Copy, thanks. 10 minute ticker, we're still on the alpha, just right. Slow off at the 15 foot. I'm gonna bump up, bro. Yeah. I just found my partner here. Just don't have time to help! Agent 14 from command. Russell! Over 14. No pressure, no pressure. We got a working on the fire. In there, up to the end of the end. 
Okay, if you could pull some out and quick on, uh, probably right in the middle of the structure, that heavy brown smoke coming out, you should be able to work on extinguishment. And you need an additional line of air and Yeah, just Okay, copy. Tower 18 from command. There's a massive fire up here. What? There's a massive fire up here. On deck, also fire. Alright, I see it. Hey, be careful there, just close. Don't go too far there. Hey, man, it's insane. Go ahead. We're evaluating two. Copy evaluating two. Break. Just right from command. Another medic. This side, we are assigned primary search. Primary search? Yeah. Clear here? Clear there, clear there, clear there. Okay, get me 9-6. Uh, well, we're going to recycle and we'll do that for you. No fire in there. No, sir. No fire in the attic here. We're good. Okay. Okay, copy. Yeah, primary complete. We have them all clear. And you're ready for the truck. We're in the dispatch. Okay, go. This next incident occurred on July 20th and it takes you into the cab of Battalion Chief 2's pickup truck. Battalion 2 had just been toned to a brush fire with engine 15 and brush 14 and as he was getting into his vehicle, dispatch upgraded the incident to a reported residential structure fire. Additional 911 callers who had seen bushes on fire were now telling dispatchers that it was spreading to the structure. So this will give you an opportunity to see just how fast things play out for the battalion chief and how he sets up the scene for the units that are responding in.
Yeah, it's smoking there. Can we go ahead and confirm this? Uh, Copy. Smoke is in the air. We're requesting the air. Confirm response. 25. Engine 38. Engine 11. Battalion 2. Battalion 2. I'm on scene. I've got a small, single story, single family dwelling. I have uh, multiple bushes on fire on the alpha side of the house. This is extending into the house. We're going to be in the offensive strategy, and I'll have downing circle command. Looks like all occupants are out of the house, but I'll get that confirmed. Copy here on scene, single story family house with multiple bushes extending to the house. We'll be investigating offensive in command and it appears all occupants are out. 2006. Command medic 12 on scene. Medic 12, I want you to position out of the way and uh, gear up to assist with the first hose line. Medic 12, copy. Medic 12, come in. Go ahead. Go ahead. When you get your gear on, I want you to complete a 360. Command engine 15 is on scene. Engine 15, I copy you're on scene. Alpha side of the house, stretch pre-connect. Let's start uh, cooling down the alpha side, and then we need hooks in the soffit. Engine 15 coffee is stretching an inch and three quarter. Alpha side, cool down, make sure it hits the softens. FMBU 35, confirm residential structure fire. Map page P24A 6730, south down in Turbo West. FMBU 35, confirm residential structure fire. Command engine 38. Engine 38. You got a hydrant that's going to be on the north side of Arapo. You want to shut down Arapo or come in from the south? Come in from the south and uh, lay into 15th. We'll use their front intake. Copy that. We'll take downing circle east and swing all the way around. Engine 14, the unseen unit wants to reverse out to the hydrant to the south. That's negative. I'm going to bring a. Uh, yeah, actually, 14s. So let's go ahead and reverse out to that hydrant, and 38 will uh, come in and position out of the way. Straight. 38 copies will continue in the second engine. Command medic 12. Medic 12. 360 complete. There appears to be no extension into the house that we can see now. Possible extension into the attic space on the gable end on the Bravo side. We're going to take the boots on the Bravo side for access, and there is the basement. Reassign it. Okay, I copy. We do have a basement. No changes to IAP. Potentially extension into the Bravo side gable end. Medic 12 is ready for reassignment, and I'm going to assign you primary search first floor. Copy. Primary search first floor. Command medic, there's some more level one. Last unit calling command. Medic, there's some more level one. It's yourself. Medic 37, I copy your level one. I want you to position for egress. You'll be our uh, medical. On deck, Alpha side. Command is back. Go ahead. Ten minutes into the end of that. Ten minute ticker. Copy. Ten minute ticker. We do have water on the uh, exterior fire. We're gonna check for extension into the attic. Where do you want me, brother? Hey, get on that Copy first floor. On the fire. Floor, floor one. Yeah, floor yeah. one. And I'm worried about this Bravo side. 
I can't, loop. Yeah, that bravo cable in. Let's right. get some hooks in there. Inside? I'm, yeah, and I'm going to send 38s down to... Actually, let's start on the eaves, Chief. Eaves texture? Yeah, and then uh, why don't you use 38s to do that? Okay. Engine 38 is Yeah, Mark is on scene, MDT issues. You're on scene 2012. Engine 38 command. Thankfully, no one was injured in this incident, and that's due largely in part to a person driving by on Arapahoe Road who saw smoke, went to investigate it, and realized that the homeowner was still inside the house, unaware that a fire was burning outside. They alerted the resident to the fact that there was a fire, helped them outside over to the neighbor's yard, and kept them out of harm's way. So that was certainly a positive action that occurred, and of course, all of the people who called 911 to provide us the best information that they possibly could to get the right response there as fast as possible. The cause of this incident is still under investigation. If you've followed South Metro for a while, you're probably no stranger to our animal rescue calls. And on July 6th, Engine 33 responded to ducklings in a storm drain and helped them out, got them reunited with the rest of their family and they're safe and uninjured. And some questions have come up about that. One of the main reasons why South Metro responds to incidents like that is because sometimes animal control isn't on duty or they don't have the tools that they need to safely rescue animals. South Metro would much rather send a group of firefighters out to try and do a rescue safely than ignore the call and inevitably neighbors or bystanders may start taking action that is unsafe to do rescues on their own. The same thing will apply in the winter time when we have animals out on the ice. We would much rather send our firefighters with dry suits equipped to get animals off the ice than to just ignore it and let people do whatever they want to do to try and make a rescue happen. One of the main goals of our organization is life safety. So if we can do a positive thing like rescuing animals and at the same time make sure that our community members are staying safe and not putting themselves in harm's way, that is certainly a benefit for everyone. Do you see him? All right, I have a few patches to share with you all. The first one comes to us from a firefighter in Montreal, Canada. This is a patch from Penryn Fire District. And here is a patch from Blissfield, Michigan Fire Department. And the rest of these were sent by Matt. Matt, thank you so much. These are various FDNY patches that I'll share. The first one is Staten Island Communications. The next one is the official FDNY patch. The next one that I have is engine 157 and ladder 80. The next one is engine 166 and ladder 86. This one is engine 167 and tower ladder 87. The next one is Brooklyn Fire Dispatch. This is a version that I have not seen until now and excited to add this one to our collection. We've got engine 227. Engine 249 and ladder 113. Engine 282 and ladder 148. 
So thank you so much for sending these to us. These company patches, of course, are some of my favorites because of their creativity and they're so unique. So I will be adding these to the patch wall. Thank you so much to everyone who's watching South Metro from literally around the globe. It is so awesome. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so. So you will be notified as soon as we have new videos up. The next one is going to be Station 32, Station Saturday. It's taken a little bit of extra scheduling to get that, but I plan on shooting it next week so that I can bring it to you. More Day in the Life episodes are in the works, and our next merchandise store is also being worked on right now. We will share that information as soon as it's open across all of our platforms. Hope you're staying happy and healthy, and I will see you on the next video.